Hello guys, welcome back to the brand new gaming episode and welcome back to the channel Tube Station Gaming and thank you so much for taking out the time and watching the video. So today uh, I have got like good uh, four news to cover related to PlayStation and few games are also there. So it will be combined of PlayStation news as well as uh, gaming news. I'm going to cover the very first one regarding the Force Spoken review. So Force Spoken is out today, that is 24th of January. So it, the game is released and yesterday the reviews were out so i'm going to talk about that second one is regarding the spider-man 2 the third one will be related to so wwe 2k23 teaser has been released or revealed yesterday itself on 23rd of jan so yes uh, i'm going to talk about that then there's a uh, new news floating in the market that uh, sony could as in skip ps5 pro for like ps6 so yes i'm going to talk about these uh, four news so without any further ado uh, let's start with the video but the first thing if you're new to the channel consider subscribing liking the video and share the video as well and yes don't forget to take part in the giveaway so day after tomorrow is the last day of entry so yes uh, i would request everyone to whosoever is watching this video just give it, be a part of the giveaway contest i am giving away uh, 500 bucks uh, or PlayStation gift card so yes I would request everyone to just go ahead and be the part of the giveaway and follow the simple rules and I'm going to link down that particular uh, giveaway in the description box so you can definitely check it out so without any further ado let's start the video so the very first one is regarding the Forspoken uh, reviews so yesterday the game is as in reviews were out and as you can see the game turned out to be a disaster as per sony's past record and this game was like bit shady as well because review codes were not given to all the review publishers so there was a speculation that you no know, this game is going to create a fuss everywhere so at the end it happened so this game could not score even in 80s so at per meta score this game has scored like 68 and if you talk about open critic they, it has scored 69 so this is like uh, way too disappointing but uh, if you see from ign it got six then eurogamer no recommendation games reduced given 2.5 out of 5 then easy allies 8 out of 10 game form 7.5 game spot 5 out of 10 then just truck toy 7 out of 10 then hobby consoles 80 out of 100 so basically uh, this game is lying between 6 to 7 on an average so that is not sony is all about sony basically consider the games to be like perfect if they touches above 90 so yes it is going to be a big disaster but yes uh i might end up playing it because i want to test it out like how the game plays because uh, in reviews although the story and everything is like uh, the campaign story is like it's not very i don't know you cannot remember it for the last it's just that you just play it and you forget it just like that. this is not so much uh, impactful but yes uh, as per the reviewers the, uh, the game combat is good so gameplay mechanics and gameplay combat is good so definitely i'm going to try it on those grounds not as of now but yes sooner or later i'm going to get this game and you know try it out so this is regarding this one now let's move to the other news that is related to wwe 2k23 so yesterday a uh, new teaser w 2 k revealed and john cena is the cover star for, for this particular uh, what do you call it, successor of uh, 2k22 so as you can see the screenshots john cena is there at the main cover star and you're going to see his uh, as in like it happened in the, in the 2k22 Rey Mysterio was there who was like in full uh, spotlight this time John Cena is there in the full spotlight and you're going to see his uh, journey in the form of campaign or something like that so yes uh, you can check out the teaser I have already linked down the uh, teaser link it's there on YouTube you can definitely check it out and uh, just follow me on the twitter handle i keep on posting these kind of news and whatever new news are coming so i keep on doing it so yes this is regarding 2k23 and uh, it's the pre-orders are also off the game is coming out on 17th of march you can go ahead and pre-order the game if you want to although it's expensive on playstation 5 i'm going to you know make you see like what is the price of the particular game and the standard edition is for 
this is t team and the standard edition for 3399 then you going to get deluxe edition for 65699 and the 2k23 icon edition is for 6799 so this is a steam price i believe yes this is a steam price now let's move to playstation store so for playstation 5 this is a cross gen bundle so you will get it for 4999 deluxe edition for 7499 then you have icon edition for 7999 and there's a ps4 solo ps4 version that is for 4499 so instead of if you are planning to get a ps5 then i would request or i would suggest just go for this cross gen bundle if you are very keen to buy this game because there is no point of buying this ps4 version because if you are planning to switch to playstation 5 anytime soon then yeah this is the best option sorry this is the best option cross gen digital edition so yeah, this is it for this uh, WW2K23. Now let's move to the people's favorite game that is Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 PS5 is massive and astonishing, says Peter Parker actor. So basically the voice artist of this uh, particular game who is uh, giving the voice of Peter Parker has as in revealed yesterday that's, that uh, there is a bit to do, uh, bit left to do for this particular game that he's doing, like some of the part of the work is left for this particular game. But yes, he's like very confident about it that uh, insomniac is on track and the game is going to release this fall so there is no need to worry and fans no need to worry and he also specifically mentioned that he cannot uh, give more insights about the game but yes he did mention that people will be astonished as in they will be uh, blown away by the game by the game as in the uh, the Spider-Man and Spider-Man Remastered and Miles Morales have set a new bar so basically uh, insomniac is ready to fill those things with the new banger so He's pretty confident about that that game is massive and in terms of like you're gonna just you're gonna love it so insomniac is like very much ready with it and most probably not probably he's like conf he's sounding confident in his tone and uh, insomniac is also sounding confident they have cleared it out that game is going to release in 2023 so there won't be any delay so yes let's uh, cross our fingers and let's hope for the best because i am ready for this game and like very excited for this one and i'm just want to know like what collector's edition are they going to reveal so that no uh, i would go ahead and uh, buy it because uh, i'm a big fan of this uh, spider-man franchise so yes uh, i'm gonna go and take it anyhow so yeah this is it for the spider-man 2 so it's on track for now so let's hope for the best and we're going to see the reveal very soon as first first party uh, reveal is happening might be happening like in march so i we might get something out of it but yes just take it to the grain of salt for now next one is regarding the what do you call it uh, playstation 6 so basically sony could skip ps5 pro for ps6 say social media's scuttlebutt so basically this is uh, regarding the tweet which has been done by tom henderson he is the industry insider so i'm going to make you see what did he tweet about so as for it's they're going to be a ps uh, is going to be a pro version this generation i'm not entirely sure it doesn't feel like the regular version has been fully utilized yet and probably won't be on mass until the end of the year all i can say is that i have heard more about the ps6 than the ps4 pro so he's about to make a video on and clearing the doubt about it but yeah somehow he could not make it due to some health conditions so i'm going to read it out through push square so sony could skip ps5 pro for ps6 say social media special but so there may not be a ps5 pro this generation with sony potentially planning to skip a supercharged mid-gen refresh in favor of a full-blown successor so as per tom henderson he weighed on recurring report that playstation will overhaul its new gen system later this year as has been indicated previously this will pop properly feature our detachable disk drive so like i said in my few uh, last video that a new playstation 5 is supposed to be you now uh, <clears throat> come into the retail uh, this september the production will start in uh, april and uh, it will go in production sorry the production will start in april and it will go on sale in september so that new ps5 will have a detachable disk drive there is not a major hardware changes that which this is what uh, was in the news previously there won't be any major hardware changes just the design just to increase their production so that sony can make uh, playstation 5 to more households so this is the plan so henderson hypothesis that ps5 pro may not make sense it doesn't feel like a regular version has been fully utilized and 
probably won't be on mass until the end of the year all i can say is that i have heard more about ps6 than a ps5 pro so we know that now ps4 ps4 pro launched after 3 years of playstation 4 so so just 3 years after the release of the base model so if platformer holder were to follow the release that this if they if they are supposed to follow the same streak so we should expect a ps5 pro this holiday in theory so basically based on the ps4 and ps4 pro tenure so considering that tenure three years will be completed for the playstation 5 so we can expect a uh, mid-gen refresh version only but yes uh, let's see uh, like what sony is up to because reading after reading this article this is um, giving more hint that ps6 is on the way instead of ps5 pro so i don't know what is exactly going on but yeah it is a uh, due in, due out in september so and let's see like what is it all about assuming the new model does it does exist that makes sense most uh, that makes more sense to us at this point so only clearly just want to get um, core consoles into many house and uh, many homes as possible so they just want to you know push their consoles to most of the household so yes uh, they might end up uh, giving the ps5 pro only this is what i am getting it uh, from this article and as per tom and he is hearing more about ps6 so let's see what sony has to do as in there is no uh, as in like there's no surety they may come up with a ps6 and or they just you know uh, name a ps5 pro with the name of ps6 so anything can happen because on hardware wise it there won't be any major changes like it was being stated previously as well so it will majorly focus on detachable disk drive and probably the slimmer version so yeah this is what all about the playstation story and i would request everyone to you know if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and I keep on covering up the new news as well so yes do like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one and keep gaming thank you so much everyone